learn and how you grow. Um, so including that as well is good. So when I was uh, applying for a job, I... So let's get to it and talk about the resume and, and uh, what is the goal of a, of a resume. So a resume is something that tells your story. And when somebody is reviewing it and looking at it, they really want to get a sense of uh, your past experience. What have you worked on? What have you done? And, and learning about the impact that you've had. So any projects that you contributed to or, or companies, for example, O of N, O of N squared, O of N log N. Okay, so so that's it. For, for, for those of you who know it, that's good. Stay, stay uh, aware and, and comfortable with that notion. For people who don't know it, it's very important to learn that. So when you're going and doing an interview, you will be asked to the hash map. And before we sort it, we check, have we already sorted in the hash map? If we have, that means we have a duplicate. So now we're going to write this code. We're writing this in JavaScript. So we initialize a variable called C, and that's going to be our hash map. Uh, that's how you do it in JavaScript. The advantages or disadvantages of each. And finally, we thought about if it looks fine, does it violate the properties? When I check the right tile, it violates it because 20 is not larger than 100. So now we have a violation, we said our violation we have a So that's going to be my approach. To make sure I don't have an infinite recursion, recursive routine. And in this case, the base case will be if we reach a node, if loop is none, so basically we reach.